Guys, turn your cameras on. I got one. I got it. Woo! That's a will be gone. Okay, let's head up here in a little shallower water so we can do the presentation. Whoa, see that? That was a warning. I have very sharp teeth and I will bite you. So you'll notice these sharks have a beautiful cryptic patterning up and down their body. And that really helps them blend into their environment. Another thing that helps them blend into their environment is actually their sensory appendages that are around the face. It really gives them that mossy carpeted look, which also has led to their name, the carpet shark. And they do have a very rough skin, like most sharks do, not at all slimy. Now, a lot of people out there think that sharks have to be moving in order to breathe, and that's not actually true with a number of species, but specifically with the Wobegong, they can remain completely still and breathe just fine. You can see it right there gulping in water and actually pushing it out the sides of its gills, just like that. 